everybody and welcome back to the salty show and welcome back to our imperator rome with the lovely invictus overhaul mod episode five hope you guys are doing well today and if you are like and subscribe as always but without further ado we're gonna get right into it in the last couple episodes we obviously had the great faces of horror debacle with the new update one that i'm eager to check out eventually but i am currently running on this save and i have iron melted my campaign so fingers crossed we're stuck dealing with the the plague of the ancient era of the faces of horror up until we get i believe new people because as you can see there is something just ticked off nothing okay it was just trade room as you can see um there are some normal ones in there and if you look at other certain tribes like there are some that are still affected by it but it appears to be sort of back and forth on where it's at and who it's affecting like Atrulia has a brand new, or somebody there. So, it does appear, I do love that you can do that. I don't know how many people know you can do this, but you just hold the right click down and you can, you can give yourself somewhat of a, th like a, a down ring, that's so cool. Um, so we are dealing with that. Fingers crossed it does just go away with time. But other than that, more importantly, we well, finished the first Diadochi War, or Diadochi War, secured some land up in Anatolia, mainly along the southern coast. Um, the Antigone Kingdom still exists, and they still have quite a few, uh, they have some alliances and subjects. They don't actually have as many, hold on. They've got a couple subjects. But not as many as I thought. I thought, are these city-states? Oh, these city-states are only, they're independent now. Ooh, we could take these city-states of uh, Arados, or Arados, Sidon, and of course... Uh, oh, I guess Sidon owns both of these? Biblos, my bad, no. Okay, so we might actually line ourselves up to do that. Uh, move to deal with them. I don't know how many forces they can levy. Let's go ahead and make our way up there. I don't think we should let these magnificent places really uh, linger. Uh, so taking a quick look. Our administrative country. Ooh, implemented one free invention, actually. That's nice. But let's take a quick look. Um, all our allies would join. War without a cost of ballet. Uh, we don't have... Ah, uh, darn. We don't have a Casa Belle on these guys, I see. So that's actually not possible with Sidon or Sidon. What about Biblos? Not possible either. What about you? Okay, so we unfortunately don't have claims. We could get claims on these. I don't think it's that important. But I thought we could just nab them real quick. But we'll let them remain independent. For now, let's pick a quick invention. And I think this is going to be our last one. Well, our religious ones actually are kind of already up there. It's progressing rather fast. So I'm thinking civic-wise. And I'm thinking let us do build time, civic provincial investment cost, we also gain one free province investment. That's actually pretty nice. I think we're going to get movement of water and get that free uh, province investment point. That's awesome. And we're going to let things play out. And four more days are going to pass by until this becomes a city. And fingers crossed it actually ticks. So that's not good. That is twice I've done that, and unfortunately, it's not become a city. So let me know in the comments below, what am I doing wrong here? Is something going on? Is it all settlement? After a period of reduced output, a city will be constructed. So it's not happening. Yeah. 
definitely let me know in the comments below what's going on there. Is that something we can fix or is that bugged? If that's bugged, that's... Unfortunately, that is bugged in the last episode. Or in the last, um... Update. I don't know if that's true or not, but it does appear to be that way. Um... Okay. Until the 19th of April. And then it just went away. Alright, yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Is that a bug? I'm also going to try and Google it. I will try to look at that as well on my own time. So, if that's the case, if we can't do that, neither one of them became a city. I wonder why... Metropolis... The Macedonian concubine. Lagos Tome's first soldier's father was a noble of court, Philopus II, who was given the hand... Sorry, everybody. Away she goes of my ever-growing dogs um, dealt with. We can get back to this. The connection has already been used to hint that Ptolemais' true father was, in fact, Philopus, who conceived our snow before Lagos's marriage to her and moved to a distant child from the throne. This would make Ptolemais half-brother of Alexander. Oh. With a direct claim of Macedon and the Lost Empire. That aside, Ertus disputed descendant from Alexander I of Macedon, sharing a grandfather with Philip II, thus passing the royal blood of the Argid kings to Ptolemais in any case. While these have been little more than agonizing yarns thus far, Basilis Ptolemais could officially pronounce his birthright. I see. Uh, I see. So we could make the claim of our father and Lagus. As the Laggots, who will be remembered for all of time. So here you'd gain popularity, and we'd gain another 200 prestige. To hint at such a relationship is enough, nothing more. We'd gain legitimacy, which we do need a good bit. The Laggot family gains 70 prestige. Ptolemy's first is a true heir to Philip. Blood of the Argids. Oh. Effects of monthly legitimacy would rise. But he's already got quite a few blood of Ptolemy. Let's look at them. Okay, that's not good. He's modest. He's uncaring. That is really unfortunate. Uh, the blood of Antipatros. Monthly legion. Okay, good, good. Bacillus. Giza complex. Um, build cost. Okay, prominence. He's ambitious, jealous, and the blood of Ptolemy. And we do that, we'll add blood with Argus, which would grant quite a few good things. And he'd gain more monthly legitimacy, and the aggressive expansion impact would be decreasing even quicker. What would that give us? The Lag family loses 100 prestige. We'd lose 200 political influence. Okay, we don't have enough to do this. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Um. I think if that's the case, the best one here is this. Just to gain the influence and prestige. And we're going to keep rolling with that. So, I did do a quick Google search on the city issue here. And there's nothing to be stated about it, so... I am. I've reached out to the Discord to see what happens. If you're on the Discord and you see this now and you didn't see the comment, because uh, I don't know really where to post it, so I just asked randomly. Um, if you see it, please let me know. Are we supposed to be doing? So am I supposed to be doing something that I'm not? And with that, actually, I think I'm more worried about war down here in the south with our southern neighbors. I mean, they are dealing with a revolt. But maybe garrisoning Memphis. Memphis would be the best spot. Our fleet is slowly but surely building up with a lot of Liburians instead of... Uh, actually, yeah, a lot of Liburians. But we are getting... Never mind, we're getting more Triremes. Okay, I was worried that I was 
ordering the wrong thing around. So, so the big question is, what do we want to do now? The mission tree... I'm going to try it one more time. Let's move here and... Try to... Uh, oh, tearing down fortifications. Are the government of Lehan is having acute financial difficulties. Oh, well, that's nice. We get a little bit of stability there. That's good. Sucks for them. Ooh, now Matei is at war with Nihon and Kadar. I'm surprised they've not called us into war with them. Let's actually... We should probably prepare for that. I'm really surprised they haven't. Yeah, wow. Perhaps they just think they know they can do it on their own. Alright, so with that, back at it again. One more time, found city. Livestock. No. So let's hope this works. The public is working hard to construct the city. Is it like... There's no way it's a by chance situation, you know? There's just no way. Uh, please deal with those pirates. Oh! We got some pirates. Let's send our legion down here to deal with them. Just to make sure they don't step into our land. Continue refusing that stuff. And we gain a couple more ships. Awesome. So all is looking fairly well for our kingdom. Nothing of super big issue. A describable alliance. A young woman named Salamam... Salamembo, of little note until now, has arrived at the Palace of Alexandria, bearing a baby who she claims is a son of Basilis Thomas. Oh, no. After some cross-examination, it's clear that she speaks the truth. Son of a bitch. This information is known by only a few of the most trusted guards and advisors. There's no doubt it would both damage the... You, sir, have done harm. Make this go away. Gains 10 loyalty. Um... Well, see, we'd lose a little bit of money, we gain tyranny, and we lose a tiny bit of legitimacy. Uh, keep it a secret, but the child will never want. Five loyalty, we lose a little bit. Lose a little. The babe is, has royal blood. He'd lose popularity, loyalty. Everybody would lose loyalty. Lots of popularity law. Ooh, absolutely not. Make this. He's uncaring, so going based off that, well, he's he's modest, but yeah, he's uncaring, so I don't think he'd, he would just say, make this go away. Yeah, I think that's what, uh, the, uh oh, the Amphitrapid Civil War. I do apologize about the Discord noises, everybody. I thought I closed out. The bitter Civil War of Antipas finally come to an end, with the loyal forces of Antipas II utterly crushing the rebel armies led by Philopus. Uh, we are reliably informed the turning point was during the Siege of Corinthos, when the rebel forces attempted to rout the Loyalist army, but were outmaneuvered by superb tactics. As we do not consider it as neither friend nor foe. So their civil war is over, and they've reestablished themselves as the, the kingdom upright. So we're going to continue rolling with that. Everything is going down. Fingers crossed once we get that rolling, we'll be fine. And I'm going to try to get rid of the Discord. I do... Oh, there's barbarians. Yep. Our army's already on their way. We will deal with them soon. And hopefully... Yeah, we need to get rid of these barbarians. Well, I was trying to cut out the, the march time we have down here. As we're sending our legion to deal with these barbarians. 
I did find this very cool that you could, um, you can interact with them uh, in a way to where, yeah, you can you can create a tribal vassal, settle, demand, surrender, or pay off. So that's really cool features, but more importantly, I started recording because we have a call to arms against Lehan and Lear, and we are going to accept. We were importing some things from them, that's fine. We are now at war, though. And we will be aiding our dear Nabataean vassals against these guys. They're rather large. Um, so, it is time to rally the forces. Oh man, we can raise such a huge army here. Let's raise the Pharaoh's army. And then... Could raise the Canaan Legion. Upper Egypt. Lower Nubia, though. We could combine those guys. We're not going to raise the Serenaka Legion. We do not need to. We could also raise the Levy. All those are good to stay. I think that's fine by me, and we have some imports. We have one import that we could get. Let's go ahead and grab... I'm thinking... Earthenworks. Iron would give us the heavy infantry extra discipline or vegetables. I think Earthenworks. We cannot get it from anybody. That's unfortunate. So maybe just iron. Eh, yeah, we could do vegetables. Could you move slave costs? That's not very good. I'd rather do it here and do it from Carthage. So we're gonna deal with that. Let's grab our legion here. Along with that, grab our fleet. Um, now, you're sitting with just two forces. And you guys are starving. I wonder why you're starving. Um, we'll send them together. Go guard that capital. Oh, wow. Nope, we're just going to ignore that. We're going to roll off. Well, those legions will deal with that. This event occurred due to having a advisor with high statesmen. Oh, nevertheless, more devout Mithlagus. Feast in his honor. We would gain stability. Yes. I think we need that extra stability. Let's go ahead and move here to blockade. Kushin Civil War ends. Alright, it doesn't actually look like they need much help from us. I need to probably turn that down just one. Oh, there they are. Why don't you turn around, then? Yeah, it looks like they're doing a pretty decent job by themselves. Unsiege that. Looks like they're coming back. Those are literally just mercenaries now. Either way, we're gonna head to the port. Yep, head back up there. They're gonna do all that, that's great. 
Ooh, they're just gonna stand there and let us kill them. Wow. Oh, don't you move. Don't you run. Okay, we did catch him. Good. And that is gonna be quite the slaughter. Let's go to move towards their capital. You guys will stay put there. We'll keep the levy raised just to be safe from our southern issues. Let's go ahead and get our legion over here where we need it. And they are Serenaka is pushing in from the north, so that's good. We will have you. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's get you to embark. We'll move them there. Ah, uh, we got too few men. Fine then. You'll head there. He'll continue that siege. Let's land our forces on the coast here. And we have a couple disloyal characters. Hey, Helenid. Um, why are you disloyal, deceitful, skeptical? You're not Helen. Okay, so you're just power base. You do have a decent power base as well. Um, we would. I don't think it's going to exactly do too hot. I don't really know if we want to... Mm, I don't know what we want to do. We, he's going to lose. He's going to gain some corruption, but 15 loyalty. How corrupt is he? He's got a decent bit of wealth. He's already got 5 corruption. Let's try to befriend him, perhaps. Well, who's more important? Okay, definitely you. Try to make friends with him. I mean, you're provoking us. Yeah, that's not good. Let's try to just... Try to make friends with him and you. We could take his power base. We could bribe him. He has no... We, I think bribing him should be fine. Getting that five corruption's not that bad. And it will let us deal with one of them for now. Murder in the market. I mean, Nukumo, a figure that everyone agrees was beloved, was found murdered in cold blood. Local tax. Or we could lose a thousand manpower. No, yeah. Send soldiers. We don't need that crap. Everyone likes gold. Of all the ways of making friends, so this is a friendship your ruler will make a large amount. Ooh, personal wealth. I feel like you've got the money. Yeah. Our king, or our pharaoh, has the cash. And local infrastructure is grow from a lot of humility. Thank you! Okay, so it worked! What happened there? So it's now a city. Oh, I'm so confused, everybody. What happened? I posted on the Discord. I look like an idiot. Huh. Interesting. A lack of food. Okay, we'll pull... We'll pull you back then. Fine. You're not going to help very much anyways. We have laid claim to what appears to be most of the southern coast here. And our vassal is sieging a lot of that out, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and just order an assault. Political ambition. Helenid is now seeking a particular government office for some time until he's been passed over. 
So we could give him what he wants, a large amount. He would lose 15. Oh, no, Helen would lose 15. This isn't, uh, this isn't right, no. And we did just the sacking of the Dane, let the looting be gentle. We'd gain 10 prestige, 14 gold, five popular, let the men roam free, 10 prestige, 21, 21, third becomes loyal to Tom. That's actually kind of important, I think. None shall hide. Um. Say what? I don't know how much of this is going to be important. So none shall hide. So we've won that siege. All that's going to convert soon enough. So let's start making our way there. Let's actually go up there to try to help our vassal. We've greatly impacted that. Risk of a rebellion? Oh, they're... The Eastern Desert might rebel, bringing 12 pops into conflict. Um, I'm assuming that's due to food issues. I don't really know what to do, though. They're still over their pop. We can move more pops from... I think what we'll try to do is move more pops from the eastern desert into uh, the province of th this region here to stabilize that, and hopefully we can continue doing that. I'm gonna see if we can see if we can stabilize these two bothersome desert regions. Right, so I did sort that out. I've moved the massive slave populations out of here and into these regions. So fingers crossed. And I'm moving the army out because that is also impacting their food supply issue that I did not realize. They're eating the food the army is so go figure they're getting pretty upset uh, but we do have other things the tutor is needed for one of our and a wife is required for stretch on unfortunately he came of age and he still has that bug so I'm never mind he's not the right one he's not the right one he's 30 he is 30 that is a not the man I was talking about. So, you have a lot of... You're very poor health. I don't think you're going to make it if you're very poor health, then. We could try arranging a marriage, but I don't really know if we want to do that with anybody. Considering your status. Let's look at our characters. Yeah, we have a couple of... In prison. In prison of five-year-olds. That's rough. I feel like somebody just came of age. Yeah, so there are a couple of normal faces in here. I don't know what we're going to do, guys, but we are going to just roll with it. Now, you are... You're the heir. Where did he go? We should probably actually deal with that. Primary heir. Yeah, he is 16... So let's go ahead and, um, no, let's just arrange a marriage. So based off his stuff, what is he? He's humble. That's not good. <laughs> Firstborn, blood of Ptolemy, and the blood of Antipi. All right. All right, let's see here. Who do we want? Yeah, number one, perfect health would be great. Okay, Magus. You're a 5344-2853. 29 popularity. 20 corruption. 52 loyalty. Oh, you're 56. Alright, maybe we should sort by age then. 16. The youngest person we have is 36. Or 31. That's not the best, guys. That's not good. Lazy, impartial, original thinker. Um, I 
Investment monthly wealth. He's growing his wealth. That's, I mean, that's not horrible, but... A benefactor, skeptical... I would really like to have him marry young, but sheesh. We don't have very many good people, that's for sure. Um, patient, shy, blood of Ptolemy. Oh, uh, uh, do we marry? Frail. Okay, you're frail. That's not good. Zealous and the pox. Stubborn. Shrewd, Blood Ptolemy, well connected, miserable, okay, ambitious, generous, Blood Ptolemy, harsh, and that's gonna detract. You're 38, narrow minded. I think, man, alright, maybe we might, we might hold off. Um, and I'd really like you to seek. Oh, you're going to lose money. We'll let him chill for now, but he needs something. So we're sending our main army up north. Our dear vassal was unfortunately beaten. So we're going to move in to help him. The gladiator. I know gladiator has risen to great prominence. Buy and gift him to Armados. He will lose five popularity. The royal will gain. Okay. Everyone enjoys the show. Five popularity. Ooh. I don't really want to lose popularity. He doesn't have much to spare. Far too vulgar. Okay, our tribal neighbor could have started investing a lot in their treasure. Oh. Who has? Um... A man in the name and a fresh face you because of Okay. A brute of a man. Oh, I think we have to send send him. He's got such strong martial. Hopefully that carries over into martial strength. You're still making your way. We're crushing this army here. I'm gonna slaughter them. He we are inspiring the army. Turn that down just one more. And continue our march. Onwards. Despite our best efforts, we were not able to convince him. That's fine. We tried. Oh. Really? Do you think this is a good idea? You're about to find out that it was a, a horrible idea. And we've gone ahead and sacked that. Continue making your... Oh, they're running from us. Just try to cut them off, please. Timelus Gellis, governor of Sicilia. Ooh. Now, you... That's not good. Um... Give hands, yeah, free hands. So you're gonna keep chasing. Where is their next region at? We bring sad news Demo Lagus was murdered. Uh oh, our wife was murdered. Oh my god. You're targeted. Okay, so that's not good. Um, do we actually need a wife? But you know what? Actually, he's only 35. Yes, we need a wife. And I'd like perfect health, narrow-minded, cruel, trustworthy, crafty, Blood of Ptolemy and Ambitious Lysis seems like a good fit. Loyal, perfect health, lustful craft, Blood of Megasin. Oh, wow. 
Blood of Antipater, and Abrasive. Um, it's one of these two. I think Lysis Splendid is. Yep. Alright, so back to being married. And I'll tell you what, I have a strong sneaking suspicion I might know who murdered our late wife. You, all right, so what are we gonna do about you? Who are, you're a researcher and you're causing a lot of problems, man. I really, bring to trial a currently low chance of success. That's not good. We could give him free hands, but I don't know if we want to. I think we, I wanna deal with him. Smear his reputation. Smear his reputation. Get people to stop supporting him. That's fine. Ooh, we gained. We won. Awesome. That is awesome. Alright, we are going to do hunt fleets. Please go kill him. Yeah, they're they're literally just chasing us. That is annoying. Go up there. Maybe we should assault. What are you doing? Within our naval range. I wonder what your naval range is, quote unquote. What's going on here? Oh shit. I'm assuming it's because we don't own the capital. And there is a fortification there. We should be good to assault that soon. We can call an omen down. Um... That is actually going to be a really good way to increase the city of Alexandrios' pop really fast. I just thought about that. We have captured that. That's awesome. Let the looting be gentle. None shall hide. Yep. None shall hide. Take it for ourselves. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think he should be seen as a rival anyways. Okay, so we've secured that. Go kill them real quick. We are making our way down to the fort there. Disloyal characters, he is... Yeah, he's becoming an issue. Um, I don't know what to do, though, about that. I really don't. We could try to assassinate him. Seven war exhaustion. Or aggressive expansion? That's rough. Could bribe him. I really don't know what to do about him. Needs to be imprisoned, and we cannot imprison him yet. Does not hold a tech office. Um. Sheesh. We can't really do anything to him yet. And you're supporting somebody else. If at least 19... What is it? 19 point of total power base of all characters. Okay, currently there's a 0% chance. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna let this roll for now. Because I don't know if I want to risk assassinating him. I would love to imprison him or just get rid of him, but... Grotto Navarra as well. You're... A concern. He's already got four corruption. He's 52. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's going to die. Um, do freehands. 
Get rid of him. Are we about to gain control of that? We are. Um, I don't think we're gonna chase him down. Who all are we at war with? They're very low. They're upset that we're still going. Let's go ahead and start pulling our our fleet or our army back to the coast. And we are unfortunately losing a governor. Plotting. Why are you plotting? Are we already rivals? Oh god, we're already rivals? Seriously? There's a low chance we could smear his reputation. He doesn't have a lot, though. We need to keep an eye on this. A new wise man has become renowned among our citizens in the city of Canopus province of Western. Okay. The philosopher claims people should live in accordance with nature. Tossing aside the greed. We'll have him teach us personally. He loses 10 popularity. He'd gain some martial, but he'd lose. Let him roam. No. Let, let him roam. We don't need to deal with that. I wish I could disband you guys. Would be lovely to do so. Um, that's fine. Same goes for you guys. I would love to just get rid of them. But whatever. We're pulling our massive levy army back. It looks like you might be heading for... One of these regions here. Uh, under the guidance... Of Euclidean Magus has gone from strength to strength. Institution of a new tax. National tax would go up by for 60 months. We he would lose the little bit of. I think this stability is more important. I do think stability is far more important. We are fixing our food problems. Good. I really don't know what to do with you. Do we try and assassinate him? I that just does not sound like a good idea. It really doesn't sound like a good idea assassinating him. It sounds like that's going to be a quick and easy way for us to for someone else to come to power. We do have a lot of money though, and I'd like to uh continue our mission tree as well, since all of a sudden it started working. Go ahead and try and do that. He's come of age and needs a tutor. Martial education. The chance of receiving negatives are increased if your tutor is corrupt, ambitious, or cruel. Um, you're second born. You're good natured. The blood. Alright. You're pretty good with finesse. I see. Okay, so... It... Why is it... Loses 10 loyalty for 60 months, 12, 20... Okay, it's not very long. He's only 12. Eh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's look at this. Supports... Oh, a lot of people support the kid that just came of age instead of the firstborn that is going to be something we're going to be need to deal with i'm sure of it we could gain stability Fifteen popularity, lose five stability. Oh, keep that going. Trying to keep our stability on the rise.
It looks like they're trying to cancel that. I would hope they would peace out. But so far, they're somehow still relying. Let's go ahead and take that. The 20% threshold is due to the base. There is a 10% total power base are disloyal so 10% of the power base is disloyal that's not good let's try and deal with him then I didn't want to do this. We can't do anything, unfortunately. Banish. Yeah, we cannot. He needs to be imprisoned, and we cannot imprison him. And we cannot. Chance reduced by his power base. It's gonna be... He may seek to start a civil war. Sheesh. It is rough, but perhaps we need to take a look at the air. For now, just give... It's gonna go up to 40. Maybe he can die. Aswan is a disloyal province. It is being reduced by the governor's corruption. Apollos. Local import, population capacity, or loyalty. Fort infrastructure capacity. We already have a fort here. So perhaps we need to change this to... Harsh treatment, local... Maybe harsh treatment. Or bleed them... No, not bleed them dry. Let's move this to harsh treatment to get that loyalty... Hopefully going in the right direction. Yeah, it's gonna increase now. Alright. That's fine by me. We're no longer importing dates. Not the dates. We actually have a lot of dates. We really don't need to be importing dates. This will give... Um... I could give them... That's fine. What does salt do? Let's take a quick little legion maintenance. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Give me that. Uh, too many relations. Active, diplomatic, monthly influence. Oh! When did Lehan become a subject? When did we piece them out? Disband all of these. Yes. Disband all the levies. So we've done... They're now a subject of us. I guess that's what they decided to give us. That's fine. Um, oh well. We'll have to let that play out. So, due to Judea and Abatea... Offer client state. Demand tribute. I really don't want to lose. I guess, if anything, we'd give up Nabatea. That would be my guess. Or Judea. My bad. Not Nabatea. We would give up Judea. 
Yeah, go ahead and dissolve that alliance. You're gonna be to destroy pirates. And you guys need to make your way all the way back to Memphis, if you don't mind. So, a lot of just happened. We're losing aggressive expansion. We have a lot of aggressive expansion. That is not good. But it is going down rather fast. That that part is good, at least. Um, you know, honestly, I thought the faces were really going to throw me off. I'm sure it's bugging some of you guys, but it's not actually that bad. Like, it's not actually affecting gameplay too much. I thought it really would get in the way. One thing I've not messed around with too much is culture. We have our Macedonian elite. Fugitives cross the border, fleeing from our, our lawn. Who are these people? The Federated Tribe is ruled by a... Okay, their opinion of us is negative. Uh, welcome them. Or put them to death. No, w welcome them. Why, why do I care? I don't even know where these people are at. Look at Pontus. Pontus is thick. Look at Armenia. Oh my god. So very cool. So we now have these guys as a subject, and they are loyal. Well, okay, they're they're growing in loyalty. Um, you may only integrate a nation which has been your subject for at least 10 years. I see. How cool. So, we're rather strong. These guys are our allies. Carthaginian Civil War ends. That's great. Lithan is now our subject, and they're rather happy with us. We could try... And there she goes again. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. So our fleet is going to hunt pirates. A petitioner approaches. A mature individual by his, has approached the citizen in a hushed voice. Oh, wow. Um, now, just, just convince him that it'll be okay. What the hell? <laughs> That's rough, man. Um, I'd like to go ahead and give us one more trireme, since we're already at 79. Let's get... We'll have a fleet of 80. Fingers crossed that's going to rival Lysinia. You're looking mighty large. Padmo, Homo, Olba. I think we're pretty good over here for now. I'm more worried about increasing our home, our base at the house or in the, the Nile. I really am. Qatar is also our... Wow, we... We're doing pretty good. I think we are. Um, we have a lot of wealth to spend. I'm starting to think... Do we need anything? What's our mission? So, hopefully this is going to kick off. Alexandria is metropolitan. All territories and that have all territories without food or mineable trade. So they have a farming settlement. They all need to have farms. Forgotten documents during the regular the Glorious Mausoleum containing the reigning of Alexander, the Kandros claims to have come across a variety of documents detailing links between members of our own elite and the great warrior himself. Spread them far and wide. We would lose. Ooh, a good... Aggressive expansion impact would skyrocket down, or we could gain massive opinion from it. No, spread them far and wide. We need that to go down super fast. Okay. So... All these regions need to have farms. So you need a farming settlement. Okay. 
160. We can do... We can do two for now and call it a day. And that's about done. I really don't know what the difference was between this and this firing off. I really don't. So we're about to find out. Um, everybody's still okay for us. Our legitimacy is on the rise. From Memphis. And nope. Nope. All right, 16 days. Will it happen, or am I? Is this just a? Is this just a roll of the dice? What happened? It's now a city. I swear, you all saw it in the video. He saw earlier it wasn't doing this. I'm so confused. All right, we're gonna. Congratulations, another problem is solved. That's awesome, and now we're working on getting farm settlements up and running. So that's real cool. And Alexandria needs to be a metropolis. We need 80 pops. That's going to be so rough. Getting 80 pops in here. It's going to be really rough. From Memphis, do we have... I mean, we do have the cloth. No. What am I doing? Never mind. We do have a free province investment that I have not spent yet. Let's go ahead and do the population capacity. And try and knock that out. So we can eventually get that, um... The metropolis thing rolling. Oh, the Judeans are suffering a revolt. You all have some religious advances. Awesome. Ooh, we have a new civic. I am so, I love, what is this? Why is this highlighted? In blue, river barges. Is it because we can't complete it without getting opus? I'm thinking... Either way, though, with that, I'm thinking let's grab... What oratory? What's going on over here? We've only got one thing. Legal patronage. Humane. Monthly tyranny. Aggressive expansion impact. Let's grab that, actually. Just to help with some aggressive expansion problems. And keep rolling. We're getting some more stuff. We, we're doing our best. Nicandro Silas, he was murdered. He was a member of the Hellenid family. Uh, bring to court. Reward veterans. 172. Up to four cohorts. The wolf would lose their personal loyalty or disappear. Knock some of his power base away. Give him free hands. And another murder. We've been informed that Canada... Oh, yeah. We found really murder. Investigation reports. A convenient battering ram was used in the... Wait a minute. Known to be favored by... the can Okay. Hey, Travis, we were... Let us all consider him guilty. I don't know. He doesn't have a power base. Ooh, we lose popularity. Nope. Guilty. G guilty. Uh, we do need them a monthly legitimacy multiplied by... Okay. And we do have a scorned family. Well, we're lucky. Artos here is rare and to go. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. And you two are losing food just a little bit, but you're going to sort yourselves out. Good. Our ministries have expanded enough. Legion maintenance costs. Okay. 
our legion maintenance cost went up just a little bit. That's fine. I think we're going to focus aggressive expansion change. Ooh, we could gain another 5,000 manpower. Or humane conduct, which would grant the Macedonian. Ooh, we could get the census data there. I think we might beeline for the census data just to hopefully kind of improve the ability to get Metropolis going. Alright, that's going well. Um, oh, you're both nine. Who's younger? Lagus. Send him. One, four, four, nine. I'll tell you what, let's take a look here. We're about to get that, hopefully. Infrastructure's improved. That's great. We're going to get two of the farming settlements. my gains. We gotta complete that. 200 gold. Is there anything that we need to build left? Oh, okay. So down here needs... must have a marketplace and a tax office. So... every owned city in Luxor must have a marketplace. Or... and a tax office, perhaps. So... which one first? Probably the marketplace. Or maybe just the tax. I mean... Eh, it's gonna be rough. Get a tax office rolling. We're gonna speed things up and continue onwards. Judean Civil War has ended. Congrats, I, less, I guess. Do that. Autonomy, the industrialist folk excellent themselves, contributing their own personal funds. The territory gains a granary. Granary. It is not the place to decide what goes. I'll just do wonderful. Give them a granary. Why not? The Great Olympic. Ah, better luck next time, indeed. We're about to get the tax office rolling. Which is really good. And our legitimacy is moving up. Everything's going well. We've built a tax office. And soon enough, these things will go through as well. Disloyal provinces. Again? Didn't I change these to harsh punishment? Punishment? Or no, I changed it over here. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna deal with that, and that will go back up. Oh no! The air is gained. Charisma and health, that sucks. Um, he's also 21. Dysentery, okay, you're not doing any better. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're seeking treatment. Oh, we could do that for the air then. Wherever he's at.
Oh, yeah, it's sibling. We need children. My bad. Scheme seek treatment. E yes. That's expensive, but if we could get the heir to not die, that'd be great. And we have your disloyal as well. Why is that? Governor corruption. Mm. So it's going down by 20. And it just says based off of these regions, it's going down further. Province loyalty measures how rebellious. Province loyalty may directly increase the harsh treatment or cultural decisions for the dominant cultures. I see. I'm assuming it's because these are full of slaves for the most part. Well, slaves don't usually impact happiness, I didn't think. I didn't think that's how it works, but fine then. Um. We could try to do local autonomy, that might make them feel a little better. Eh. Harsh treatment fixes the problem right away, so. Alright, our farming settlement, are, they are being built, that's great. We only need three more. We're gonna let our wealth build up just a little bit. Things are going well. We have a new, two new uh, subjects. This has occurred. Oh. Yes. We have two new subjects. Things are going alright. Uh, we do have some growing concerns with the loyalty of our kingdom, unfortunately. But still no risk of civil war. Our fleet is mighty. We have a new civic investment. We're gonna keep moving. And hopefully get census data. Which is awesome. A minor academium. Ooh. Our stability is slowly getting better. We're reducing it, thankfully. Our aggressive expansion our aggressive expansion needs to go down. Uh, we're not at war, so I think we're good to actually do something else. Maybe global food modifier, underintegrated happiness. Go for that. We'll roll for that and continue moving. For now, guys, I do think I'm going to end the episode here. Treatment was successful. That's great. So our heir did lose that, so that's awesome. He's not going to have that debuff of the disease. So I am going to call it here, I think. I am unfortunately out of time today. We've made a lot of progress, and I don't know how long I've been recording, so that is another reason I have to do so. If... Ooh. Oh, money or stability? If I had to guess, probably stability still. But that money would be nice. But we're not we're not losing money right now. Uh, I am going to call it here. I don't know how long I've been recording. If um, you guys enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe, as always, as we are learning every single episode. We are continuously learning what's going on. And I'm having a blast playing this game. It really is fun so far. And uh, obviously we picked an easy kingdom to do so. But I think it's a good one to learn the ropes of, like, Imperator Rome. And I'm loving Invictus. So, have a like goal of 10 likes. Just, y'all smashed the one in the last episode. I really do appreciate all the support we're getting. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. In the next, the next hour long special. And if this one wasn't, I'll make the next one even uh, just a, a little longer. Without further ado, I've been your host, Salty. Peace out, everybody.